So I challenge you to post a bad video on YouTube this week. It might sound counterintuitive, but what if this could be the key to unlocking your channel's growth? But let me show you why embracing imperfection might be the best strategy for you as a new creator and how it can actually lead to surprising success. Because picture this, you're sitting at your desk with the camera in one hand ready to start your YouTube journey. But something is holding you back. Maybe it's the fear of not being good enough. Or you worry about what others might think. I know because I've been there. I spent weeks in the beginning trying to make the perfect video. And do you know what? I almost never published my first video. But I'm so glad I did. Cause here's the thing. What if those bad videos are actually your ticket to growth? I know it sounds crazy. But stick with me, because in this video I'll show you how some of the biggest creators started with less than stellar content. And by the end, you'll see why posting bad videos might be the best decision you ever make for your channel. Because if you think your videos need to be flawless to succeed on YouTube, think again. The surprising truth about bad videos and channel growth might just change your entire approach to content creation. So let's talk about a creator who gained their first 1000 subscribers by consistently posting videos that might be considered as bad. Because her path to success wasn't paved with perfect content, but with consistent, imperfect uploads. This creator's strategy was simple. Post one to two videos every week, focusing on consistency, rather than striving for perfection. But I'm not talking about intentionally creating poor content, but rather prioritizing regular uploads and learning over flawless execution. So why do you think this works? It's because each video you create, regardless of the perceived quality, it's a stepping stone for improvement. It's like learning to ride a bike. You don't start doing perfect wheelies, right? You start wobbly, Maybe you fall a few times, but with each attempt, you get better. And the same principle applies to YouTube. Every video you make teaches you something new. Maybe you'll improve your editing skills or find a more natural way to speak on camera. Perhaps you discover a topic your audience connects with. And these insights are invaluable. And you can only gain them by putting yourself out there creating content regularly. So you might be thinking that posting bad videos can hurt your reputation, right? That is a valid concern. But here's the thing. What you consider bad videos might still provide some value to some viewers. Because we are too often our harshest critics. That video you think it is a disaster might be exactly what someone needs to hear today. Plus, audiences often connect with more authentic, imperfect content rather than over polished videos. So think about it. Do you prefer watching a relatable person who's learning and growing or a seemingly perfect creator who feels unreachable? I think most of us gravitate toward authenticity. And this strategy also helps overcome the initial hurdle of starting because many aspiring creators get stuck in the planning phase waiting for the perfect moment to be on camera. But here's the thing, there is no such thing as the perfect moment. And by embracing the idea that your early videos might suck, you free yourself to just start creating. And once you start posting regularly, you build momentum. Your channel starts to grow even if it is slow at first. And you begin to understand what works for your audience and what doesn't. You will start to develop your unique style and voice. It is important to know that bad is a subjective thing because what one person considers a bad video might be incredibly helpful or entertaining to others. The key is to focus on bringing value to your viewers rather than achieving some arbitrary standard of perfection. So if you're hesitating to start your YouTube journey because you're worried your videos won't be good enough, just keep in mind that every successful YouTuber started with their first video. They all had their first upload that probably makes them cringe right now, but they posted it anyway, and they kept posting and just look at where they are right now. And here's something that might surprise you. The videos you think are bad could be the very stepping stone to growing your own channel. Cause what if I told you that embracing imperfection isn't just okay, but it's actually the secret weapon for aspiring YouTubers today. 
because one of the benefits of creating and posting these so-called bad videos is your skill improvement. Every video you make is a chance to get better at editing, scripting, and performing on camera. It's like going to the gym. You don't get stronger by talking about lifting weight. You get stronger by actually doing it. And one of the coolest things about posting regularly is how it speeds up your workflow. Because when I started, it took me hours to edit a single video. But as I kept at it, I got faster and more efficient. And if I look back at my early videos, now I can do everything in at least half the time. But it's not just about speed though. You start to develop a feel for what works and what doesn't. And here's something else to consider. When you're not worried about making every video perfect, you're free to experiment. Try out new formats, play with different editing styles, test various thumbnail designs. Some will work, some won't. But you learn from them and this kind of experimentation is crucial for finding your unique voice and style on YouTube. So think about it this way. Every video you post, even the ones that you're not thrilled with, is adding to your content library. The more videos means more chances for people to find you and it's like casting a wider net. Plus, if someone likes one of your videos, they're more likely to check out your other content and here is where binge watching comes in. But the real game changer is consistency. Because posting regularly does something amazing. It builds your confidence and reinforces your identity as a content creator. Because after a few videos, you know what? You are a content creator. You are a YouTuber. And that little shift in mindset is so powerful. Because it's not just about making videos anymore. It becomes part of who you are. And there is another benefit to consistency that might surprise you and it ties back to what we talked about earlier. Because the more you create, the faster you get at the whole process. And of course, I'm not saying you should aim to make bad videos. Because our goal should always be to provide the most value as possible to our audience. But shifting your focus from perfection to consistency can be incredibly freeing. It allows you to learn to grow and improve with each upload. Cause every big YouTuber started somewhere. They all had those early videos that are probably making them cringe right now. But they kept going, they kept learning and they kept improving. And that is the key. It's not about being perfect from day one. It's about starting, being consistent and growing over time. So the next time you're hesitating to upload the video because it's not good enough, remember this. That video might be the one that teaches you the most valuable lesson. It might be the one that connects with a viewer in a way you never expected. Or it might be the one that years from now you look back on as the start of your YouTube journey. So if you're ready to start posting but don't know where to begin, let me share with you my step-by-step -step plan that may help you turn those bad videos into your secret weapon for YouTube success. And the first one is setting a realistic posting schedule, but also be flexible. Aim for once a week to start, but don't get upset when it does not happen. Because it might sound challenging, especially if you're juggling a full-time job, but consistency is key. Try to commit to this schedule, but don't beat yourself up if you cannot stick to it. And even if your video isn't perfect, hit that publish button. And to get started, just start simple. Choose an easy video format, like a talking head video or a simple tutorial. Try to set a time limit for your video creation process. This helps you avoid overthinking and perfectionism. Your goal should be to hit publish, not to create a masterpiece. Because this tip already worked wonders for so many creators. So just give yourself one hour to film and one hour to edit. I know it might seem rushed, but it forces you to focus on the essentials. And you'll be surprised at how much you can accomplish when you're not second guessing every little decision. And once you've posted your video, it's time for the next crucial step. That is reflection. But don't approach your video with criticism. Instead, I recommend you to watch it with curiosity. Ask yourself, what is one thing you can improve next time? Maybe it's your lighting. 
or perhaps your intro could be snappier. So whatever it is, focus on that one aspect in the, your next video. This approach of small and gradual improvement is so powerful because each video becomes your learning opportunity. You're not trying to fix every video at once, which can be overwhelming. Instead, you're making small manageable improvements with each upload. And if you want to go an extra mile, don't forget the power of feedback. Try to share your videos with your friends or fellow creators. Ask them for constructive criticism. Sometimes an outside perspective can provide insight you might never thought of. But remember to take this feedback with a grain of salt. Not every suggestion will align with your vision or style. So if you're uploading your first video, I wouldn't advise to share it with them. Maybe wait until you make your first 5 to 10 videos. But if you do ask for feedback, don't get upset on what they can say. Chances are they haven't been on camera for one second. And they're suddenly the experts in this field. But as you continue this process, celebrate every small win. Even celebrate if you manage to stick to your own posting schedule for a month. Because even that's a win. And try to achieve as much wins as possible in the beginning because maybe you tried the new editing technique so that could be another win under your belt because these small victories stack up and add up to your confidence because no one is in your shoes no one knows your journey and you have to keep yourself motivated to do the next one so you will be able to write your own youtube journey because here is where many small creators get stuck they spend weeks or even months on planning their first video trying to make the perfect one. But the truth is that your first video will probably be your worst. And that's okay. In fact, it's great. Because it means every video after that will be so much better. So here's my challenge to you. Post your first bad video within the next week. It doesn't have to be long or complicated. It could be a simple introduction video for your channel. The content isn't as important as the act of creating and posting it. All big YouTubers started with the first video. They all had those early uploads that they are probably thinking of deleting right now. But they posted it anyway. And they kept posting and that's the secret to their success. And by committing to this process, you're not just creating videos. You're developing a creator mindset. You're building the habit of consistent creation and you are learning to embrace imperfection as the tool of growth and most importantly you are taking action so grab your phone or your camera and start creating your first video might be not perfect but it could be the beginning of something amazing as one creator put it you never know the right answer you have to get started and then you learn as you go because the youtube algorithm is actually favoring new channels and with the latest YouTube update it makes it so easy to grow and reach more viewers as a new creator. And if you want to know more about this update and how small channels are growing so fast today, make sure to watch this video on screen now. Because the secret start to YouTube growth is right here and your YouTube journey can start right now. So see you in the next video.